What is up, guys and gals, and welcome back to Shop Up a Beep 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 Keep. Welcome on back. I got things set up. We're looking pretty good right now. I'm running a little low on gold. Some people have suggested that maybe I should lower my prices a bit, and people will be less destructive. I I feel pretty okay about the way things. It gives me something to do. That's the big thing. It's like sometimes I feel like I'm just sitting around like working. Maybe we can go here. Let's go to the skills for right now. We got 43 K points. 43k points, we need 50 so that we can get rich customers so that they have tolerance to prices. We'll work on that today. Everything's looking good. I haven't put in any further orders, which is maybe a bad idea, but I like the way everything's looking. Our shop is looking solid, and I look forward to seeing it develop with time. Like, honestly, I'm really, really excited. Oh, I needed to order some armor. We don't have any armor on the rack right now, and so given half a chance to talk about the rack, let's talk about the rack for a minute. We'll probably go... I'll probably go eight on those just so I have replacements because people are going to come in and they're going to buy those pretty rapidly. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Open the gates. Day five of wielding our wares out here slanging, doing our thing, tossing our signs out, being like, what, what? Lightning side. Wow, it shot the, it didn't, huh. How come it sometimes it shoots the lightning up there, but sometimes it doesn't? I get confused by these things sometimes. Some people were saying that I should put some stuff in my chest and play around with that, but I don't really know if I want to right now. I had this brief moment where I couldn't remember the controls. Weirdest thing, when you're playing like seven games at a time, and then you have to like alternate in between them every single day, and then take a week's break in between playing each one, believe me, it gets a little wacky. Actually, let's try it. We'll go lower prices on these. We'll go like, I don't know. We'll go 130 for right now. Apparently, so I'm learning things about the game as I play. People flip more stuff in your shop, like they get angrier about the prices. And so if you're above like 120, apparently they have like five times the chance to just knock shit off your shelves. That being said, we're making a stupid amount of money when we left stuff at 150, but I don't know. I just want to, that, I hate that right there. That upsets me. I really wish that that was flush with the wall. I'm going to have to figure out some way to make this look nicer. Like maybe like a circle O armor over here, like a semicircle. Of armor racks or something. Might be kind of cool. Armor racks. That sounds like a dragon that lives inside of a mountain. And you've got to go fight him to get some magical gemstone that will make you stop being so greedy or something. I'm going to slay armor racks. Lloyd Bach the warrior. <sighs> the first, he, th he threw down the glove. He threw down the glove. we got to fight him now. Got to fight him now. It's the way the universe works. Rather than tediously going back through and repricing everything, I'll probably just leave it where it's at and as things get knocked down. Man, he threw those boots. He was angry. He's getting frustrated. They'll reprice. So what I'm saying here is as I pick things up, they'll reprice. I thought something sold for 10,000 gold for a second. I was like, wait, what, 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 what? What do we have in our shop that was worth 10,000 gold? Huh. Did you just try and steal from me? I think you just tried to steal from me. Which means now, you're not, well, what could I, damn it. Uh, I was trying to think of something funny. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing right now. I'm like, you stole from me. Well, then I will steal the crispiness from your skin. But his skin becomes crispy, so I'm not stealing it. Sooner or later, somebody will buy something. There we go. See? You know we've missed 10 thieves so far? We've been stolen from 10 times. I was looking at my statistics, and I was like, no way. I feel like I've gotten every single thief. I really sincerely feel like I've gotten at least most of them. Turns out, nope, we've gotten about 50% of the thieves caught. So I guess... Who comes in and just knocks shit off a shelf? Eh, this guy's gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta die, gotta... Did you steal too? I don't see anything on him. So I don't think that he did. I'm not like 100% sure about that. But I didn't see him holding anything. He might have been a false positive. Sold another pair of boots. Make a little bit of money right there. Get ready for the big rush that's going to be coming in in just a minute. We got two minutes left in the daytime period. I'm sorry, during the morning period. The morning period tends to be quite a bit more slack than the nighttime periods. They're probably just going to go in there. Oh, cool. So he bought a bunch of stuff. That's nice. I like it when people peruse my shop. When people patronize my store. Although, don't patronize too much. When you patronize too much, it feels insulting. It feels really, really insulting. I'm just like, eh, you have such a nice shop. I didn't honestly think that you were capable of running such a great shop. Good for you. Good for you. I'm like, ah. Uh. This went in a direction that I... It's weird that we can't put the armor, like, on the shelf right there. We got a pretty good chunk of cash right now. 
What stuff do we need in stock? We need frost potions? Alright. So we'll go like eight frost potions. And we'll go probably like seven swords. Sounds pretty good because the swords tend to go pretty quickly once the daytime starts. I would like for our little sphincter portal over here to teleport that on in. If we level up a little bit further, we can get the richness with our customer's skill. And so let's go with rich customers real fast so that we can leave everything at 150%. And that should give us a little bit more leeway to make money without people flipping stuff off the walls and freaking the hell out. Orders ready. Shop's done. You buying something? He's buying something. He came in here. He's a man with a plan. And he almost ran when he came inside to our stand, which, as it happens, has a bunch of hand protectors on it. See, we could just rhyme forever. We can keep it going nonstop all day, every day. Pretty excited. I might be moving soon. Like, not right this second, but my current apartment complex, I don't really like it that much. I don't know. It's lots of drama. Lots and lots of drama around here with neighbors and whatnot. And I'm kind of thinking that I just want to fold and just be like, eh, whatever. I fold. I'm moving somewhere else. I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. I'm okay, friend. I'm, I'm on okay terms with some of my neighbors, but some new people in the neighborhood that are just like, eh, sketchy. And not like in a... Not like in a criminal way. It's just like... They park in my parking spot all the time, and I like talk to them about it, and they were just like shrug. And I was like, "Wow, you just went straight thug life about this." All right, well, I mean, when shit gets drastic, don't get mad at me. <laughs> when shit gets drastic, you push me up against the wall like this. I don't want to do it, but you might make me have to. I don't want to play real ball here. We're actually not getting that many customers for daytime, interestingly enough. We have sold some armor, though, so we'll sell a couple of those. By any standard, a store that, or a store that sells like random knickknacks like this selling anything is kind of impressive to me. So let's get like eight pairs of boots. We don't have a lot of money for anything else, but that's good enough for me. That seems like it's workable. And then we'll kind of just wait and see what people have going on. Now that our tolerance is up a little bit, we should get a lot less people throwing stuff off shelves, he said, as a guy. You bought something and then threw something off the shelf right afterwards? I'm guessing you're not going to be a repeat customer. I had somebody do that one time when I was working at Blockbuster Video. My first job was at Blockbuster Video, and it was basically exactly like the movie Clerks. And I had a guy come in one time. We had a bunch of stuff, like, on the little counter thing next to where we would ring out customers and stuff. And, like, this guy got hella mad. And <laughs> this dude got hella heated, and he just threw all the stuff that was on the counter and swept it off onto the floor. And it was like, ah, oh, it's infuriating. Because any other time, like, me and my roommate were the ones that ran the store. And so any other time, we would have kicked off. It would have been go time. We'd be like, oh, this dude's getting it, jumping over counters, like Dukes of Hazard style, like, come get some. But we're, like, on company property, and we're like, ah, not allowed to retaliate. That's a frustration. That sucks when people are, like, dickish to you, and you're in a situation where you can't retaliate at all. I don't know, that turn the other cheek shit never worked for me. Never worked for me. Unless I'm turning the other cheek to back kick him like a mule, like get him with a mule kick. I, I turning the other cheek, oh man. Here, nice try, but. God, things are getting heated right now. Things are getting real. Everybody, we gotta hang in here. We might not make it. Gotta grab this sword off the ground. I got more schwertz right here that we can restock all the shelves with. Pick you up and you up and you up and you up and you up. I'm gonna say it as many times as I can. If I can get away with it, I'm gonna. This guy just came over here and knocked some shit over. I think I'm okay with that as long as he's not stealing. I don't care. You can get these little robots with death rays later on that like murder people who steal from you. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty fantastic. I was watching somebody else's playthrough to get some help with it. And it wasn't anybody in like particular. It was just like some random video on Steam or something. Because I am the kind of guy who would shout him out. But it was just like some random video, to be honest. Didn't even have commentary. I was just like watching him fiddle around. Ah, I want that potion back. Man, that's going to be glitched out over there forever. I know it. All right. Well, well ah, my armor on the floor right now. Get your armor on down on the floor. On the floor. Let that armor get down on the floor. So we probably need something knocked over that again. Man, they are not feeling my shenanigans right now. We are selling stuff, though, which leads me to believe that it's okay to leave. We wouldn't be selling anything at all if our prices were that bad. So maybe these people just hard up. I don't know. This guy needs a wooden shield. Okay. That's not too bad. What I need is to put in another order. I got some boots right here. So let me go ahead and deploy forth the boots. Alright, so the boots are good. 
I've got to put in another order for anything and everything here. Let's go in on some shields, I guess. Got lots of money, so I'll probably make this a big order just to restock for right now. Boots we're good on. Swords we could probably use, like, a couple more of. All right, order placed. We're good. Let's get back to stocking shelves and making sure. It'd be cool if you could actually make stockings in this game, and then you would be literally stocking the shelves. Like you could go through and I feel like my store is really unattractive right now. You guys, I feel like all you do in between shopping and whatever else your peasant life entails, buying t-shirts from the exact same place and the exact same rat, I have no idea. Anyways, my point is I feel like all these guys do is stomp in mud puddles and shop. I mean, they're living the dream. They're living the dream. It, it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to get mad about it. It's hard for me to get mad about it. Be like, well, if I could get paid to shop and stomp mud puddles I guess I'd probably be pretty happy too. let's grab this guy over here because that's gonna allow me to restock a bit and evening is actually still pretty hyped in here there are a lot of people doing their thing on the dance flow yeah on the dance flow let's put that right there that's looking pretty solid armor boots are out health potions are out so let's get those restocked real fast this place is doing business man this place is doing rowdy ass business Got that potion on the floor, but I gotta restock this shelf anyways. Actually, let me restock at a lower price real fast. Let's try 135 for a little bit and see if that cuts down on people messing with my life and ruining everything. Did somebody steal it? We sell another sword. Oof. It'll keep the price constant, so if you're trying to restock everything, they'll just knock it off the shelves till you fix it. Ah. I don't know if I just had two thieves. I think I did. Shit. No! I didn't mean to kill that guy, but it just sort of happened. I was trying to stab that dude. Sometimes shit gets kind of... Are you guys stealing now? What did you steal? That guy's got armor boots on. Oh, no, he doesn't. Shit, that's getting expensive. It's becoming expensive murdering this many... Why are people running out of the shop? Oh, man, they're all innocent. Never mind. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Our shop appeal's hurting right now. Shop appeal's hurting. Too many dead bodies around. Too many people are running. Why are you looking so guilty right now if you didn't do anything wrong? <laughs> I feel like they steal more frequently when I'm outside the store. Like, they go all in on theft when I'm not inside. They are really, really enthused about stealing my stuff so long as I'm not around to watch them do it. Let me get that right there. And I actually, I wanted to stock some shields for a little bit. Let me diversify our wares for a little while. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Doesn't look bad at all. Wooden shield out for 60. Yeah, good. Fantastic. Perfect. Boots are all messed up over here, so I'll probably rearrange these racks real fast. That'll also give me a chance to shift my appeal around a little bit. I gotta clean up some dead bodies, though. Our appeal's kind of low. Only got like a minute or two left to do it, and the store is kind of dead right now might not be the worst plan if somebody steals something I guess they steal it but I gotta clean up dead guys for a little bit you can clean up multiple bodies at the same time because that's just the sort of dexterous super talented individual that we are you don't lose XP or anything for killing people you just lose like a hundred bucks so definitely lost a little bit of our profits there just trying to get rid of bodies but it should be cool there's so many people running around. I don't know if they're running as a result of me killing people. It's possible that my murder spree may have caused them to flee the store faster. They may have beat feet faster than is normally considered to be acceptable. It might be my fault, but, you know, he looked kind of suspicious to me. He looked kind of suspicious to me. Pick up some stuff here. Put some more boots on the shelves. We're still fully stocked on boots. That sounds great. We're not fully stocked on armor or anything like that. But I think it should be alright. This display over here is kind of lonely. I mean, honestly, even when I'm repricing things, they seem to be sort of upset, so... Yeah. I mean, these have already been priced, so they're good to go. It's just kind of... I think we're dealing with kind of a messed up tolerance level for our prices. We only got shields left? Alright. Let's do our orders now. It looks like I need gloves in large quantities. Sold a wooden shield. We got plenty of shields, though, so I probably want to order more of those. 
Let's go with 12 pairs of gloves. I'd like to have four more suits of armor. I'd like to have like eight more sets of boots just in case. I'll probably get down on like eight swords. That looks pretty good. And then as far as consumables go, in order to restock, we're going to need like... That looks all right to me. That'll work. The key here is diversification. That's really, I think that the more stuff you have in your shop, the better your chances are of making a sale. And so having like a wide variety of things tends to be long term a lot more valuable than keeping things isolated just like, we only have two products, but we have like 900 of them, you know? Like how many frost resist potions is one person going to need? How frosty are you getting, man? How frosty are you getting? I could understand if it was like a salt resistance potion. Because people get salty, myself included. I get very, very salty, frequently. He's going to hang out in my shop, huh? Alright, that's cool. I'll remember that come Christmas time. I ain't helping this neighborhood out none. Y'all deserve what you get out here. It's rough in this neighborhood. It's hedge warrior territory. Can't be messing around in hedge warrior territory. Okay. Let's restock. We should be able to get back in action pretty quickly here. In my opinion. Eh. Eh. I want that spot so very, very badly. And when I can't get it, it upsets me. I would set up the decorations to be prettier. But I'm kind of lazy. Like, that's the thing. is I was going to go, like, alternate, like, frost potion, a row of frost potions, a row of health potions, up and up. And then, like, make little patterns with them. But in all honesty, they're just going to wreck it up anyways. So I don't know what I'm getting excited about here. I probably just should not do it. Perfecto. Mm. Bottom shelves are so sketchy. You get a feel for it after a while. I will say, you get a feel for finding that little spot a little bit faster, but still doesn't mean it's not, it's not a pain. We are fully restocked, which means we're ready to make some sales. Let me clean up the store real fast, make things look a little bit purtier. Because we got mud and shit all over the place. How is our attractiveness looking? We're at 70%. That sounds alright to me. We got a little bit more mud over here, but... I think it's going to be alright. I think we could probably add in a couple more racks if we wanted to do so. Like, I'm thinking I get rid of that, and then let's loot these back up. And I'm interested in figuring out... It's hard sometimes to get these to place where you want them to go. I haven't unlocked the counter, but I do have the armor rack. I could use these, like, end caps, I guess. Like, I could do something like that, but I'd still want to get it more flush with where it's at. It's unfortunate that i got to give it so much space before I can actually get it into position. I'm the kind of person that likes things to be, like, tightly put in, you know what I mean? I think something like this might work. I think it's in the way of the door, though. I think that's what it's upset about right now. I think it's in the way of the door. So I don't really, like, I'm not in love with how this looks either. Like, I think I could do better, is the thing. That's actually not the worst thing I've ever seen. I suppose I could corner it up. That's not awful. And I think I'd like to do the same thing with this over here. I think that's probably the best way to get it to eat up space without looking really, really weird and wrong and janky. At least from a distance, it'll look okay. Whereas, like, when... I really, I hope they work on this piece a little bit and make it able to be more flush. It just bothers me. It's, in general, it's not going to bother most people, but it bugs me. I like my stuff to be, like, really, really flush. We don't have any hats or anything yet, so I don't know what it's expecting us to do with this. I'll probably put in a hat rack, like, over here or something next to the armor stand. Like, maybe if I could find, like, the sweet spot in here. Like, right there looks good. Yeah, let's just do that now. That's sweet. That works. I'll probably just destroy you then. I don't need that much armor anyways. I can't make hats, by the way. I don't have hats yet, so... That's something I'm going to sort out before I can do anything else. But it's starting to look good on this side of the store. It's starting to look like we got, like, an Emporium going on. Which is exactly what I... I've never finished that joke, like, two episodes ago. So, I always thought it'd be cool for a bar to be called the Emporium. Because you just pour drinks all day. And, like, hustle a little bit. 
I don't know what these are. If they're like landmines or what the shit those are supposed to be. Huh. No idea. Well, as far as orders go, let's take a look at our skills real fast. Because we only got a couple minutes left anyways. And based on the way the save system works, I don't want to screw myself too hard. I think we should save up K-points, in all honesty. I, I think we should save up K-points. And if we can get to 120, we can unlock some new items that we can bring up in here. If we can't do that, I mean, there's other little things in here that I'd like to do. But they all rely on me having way more cash flow than I currently have. And so, you can actually take customer talk, too, which is pretty good. Oh, really? We can pick up and move bodies? Oh, man. A champion's pretty awesome, too. I'd like to do the champion. Not like that, you sicko. Anyways. I... Countering a weapon rack might work, too. Let's save, though. I, I, th I think I'm just going to save up my stuff. And once we have enough to buy the next tier of items, I'll be a little bit happier with our situation. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Shopkeep. I will see you all in future episodes. This game is a blast. I have a load of fun playing it, and I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Hi to everybody. I'll see you next time.